All right. Uh, well, good morning or afternoon or evening or night or whatever time it is for you. Um, I'm Drew or Droopy Jores or uh, some people just call me an idiot, but uh, hope you're having a fantastic day or night, whatever whatever time it is. Uh, now, a lot of people have been asking me, how do I add this color trail to my green screen uh, webcam? And I say my green screen webcam because I have uh, just offset angle cameras and one of them looks like I'm just using a green screen. One of them looks like I'm just using my nice webcam, uh, which is really nice. But uh, going back to this one, uh, basically what I did was I created a scene to which I have the color trail um, and we built it as its own scene so we could do scene injection, uh, which means I can just move this around freely, which is really nice. Uh, but regardless, let's take a look at how we did that. Um, so looking into the actual scene itself, it kind of looks like this. Um, if I move my arms around, anything like that, you'll notice there's a slight render delay on the colors. Uh, it, it's pretty easy, actually. Um, basically, we're just going to stack uh, three webcams on top of each other. Uh, and we're going to just make them blue more purple and add a render delay. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Um, so basically, we're going to start off and we don't actually need three webcams. Um, so if you're just building your scene for the first time, to, uh, let's go ahead and see how that's done. Uh, we're going to go add the video capture device. Uh, I have the 1080p Pro Stream webcam set up for this camera. Uh, if you do have like Logitech Brio or 60fps camera, it does look a little bit better. Um, now with this camera, let's do 16 by 9 resolution. Uh, basically, you're going to start off, you should be using a green screen. If you're not using a green screen for it, can't really tell you how it's going to look. Okay, I'm going to tell you, it's probably not going to look that good. Uh, regardless, we're going to go ahead and add a chrome key to it. Uh, let's get rid of the background. That should be decent enough, just for tutorial's sake. Um, so what we're going to do is we've got the video capture device, and we don't have total three webcams, but we do have the ability to copy-paste. Um, so let's go ahead and... Um, copy this little guy right here and now we're going to have a total of three of these webcams um, you can add more colors to your color trail as many as you want uh, basically what you're going to do uh, is you're going to apply a bunch of filters to groups um, and let's go ahead and make those groups right now the reason why we're making the groups is if you add the filter to the video capture device itself it's going to change that color for every single source labeled video capture device and you're not going to have any difference so let's do a video capture device Let's go ahead and group this one, and let's call it purple. Let's go ahead and group this one, and we're going to call it blue. Um, what we're going to do is add another filter called a color correction. And let's pick the color that we want. I'm going to do blue right here. Um, now, what we're going to do is, I mean, when you're looking at this, you're going to see all the shadows. And we're going to mess around with the contrast to get rid of it. If you do too, much con uh, too little contrast, you're going to see the highlights. If you do too much contrast, you're going to see the shadows. Um, let's do like an even little mix in between. Uh, that's at negative 0.93 right there. Um, and then let's go ahead and do the purple one. Now it's color correction. Pick the color that you want. Let's go with this purple. Uh, mess with the contrast, get rid of the shadows again. And you're gonna realize you don't see anything. There's nothing behind my arms failing. Um, we can figure this out by offsetting it. So just click on the source or the group that you want and just click and drag a little bit. Uh, once you click and drag, you can fine tune it by using the arrow keys. Um, now we've got the blue showing. Now we need to click the uh, group that has the purple. Click and drag over a little bit. And then we're just going to like uh, use the arrow keys to fine tune it. So now if I like move my chair, it kind of looks like that. But uh, you'll notice on this one, there's a slight render delay on the colors. Adds like a nice little pop effect. So going back into it. Uh, you can just add filters. You can add a render delay here. Uh, I typically do maybe like 100 milliseconds or 150, um, and then make sure that the second group, the one furthest in the back, has a slightly longer render delay. Um, and it kind of looks like a snake tail moving a little bit. Um, and that's basically it. What you're gonna do is just like move around your chair. It just adds like just a slight extra. I mean, it's not too flashy. But it does attract eyes. It does kind of keep like things interested or interesting. Sorry. I, I, okay. I'm still working on my coffee. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's just another one of those no BS tutorials where I'm just trying to like make sure you guys have the proper information. Um, so you notice that right now we've created this scene. Uh, we can rename it right now to um, 
webcam trail inject maybe uh, we can build another scene maybe this would be the gaming scene and you'll notice that we can take a scene and we can add another scene as a source again that's called uh, scene injection and we can take this webcam trail injection and we can just size it the way we want to um, Again, I, I didn't set up everything perfectly as if like I already had a gaming scene or anything like that. I just wanted to show you guys how I recreated or um, did the webcam trail. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at TroopyToursTV. Uh, or, I mean, you can find me on Twitch. All my stuff's linked in the description, I assume, if I know what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, easy peasy. No BS tutorial. Uh, maybe it takes you three minutes to set up. Have an amazing time. Adios.